Hello everyone, this is Tower of Elements from Frog Dice Games. This is going to be a brief video showing you how the game works, and hopefully you'll be interested enough to want to play it. So the first thing you're going to want to do normally is make a profile, create your player, and you'll choose a difficulty here. Hard is unlocked when you beat one of the others. And then you can either click play from here, or from the main menu. We're going to check our options, get the volume and sound effects turned down for this video. You can also toggle full screen, a few other things, key bindings, good stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and go in the game. Chapter 1, The Tower of Elements. Every, uh, every 10 levels you get a chapter update. So this is the tutorial. I'll go through it really quickly just so you see how it works. But when you do it, Definitely want to pay attention and read all the boxes. So I made a match. This tutorial is going to explain UI elements, basically how to play the game. I'm going through it here mainly so you can see how it works in case you get stuck. I'm going to buy a short sword by clicking the gold. Continue, and now it wants me to use the short sword. Pretty simple. And this is a collectible scroll that goes in my bestiary. I'll show you more about that in a little bit. Now I'm training a spell. It automatically puts it down there for me. Now the way spells work is you make matches to empower them. This spell takes five matches, so... But it counts cascades, so when I make this match, it'll actually count for more than one match. In fact, it actually cascaded into five matches, so... Now I need to... This spell works by casting it on an air rune, like this cloud here. So I'm going to click, click on the cloud, and there we go. And I get another scroll. The help dice is on every screen in the game, and when you click on it, it pulls up a help menu with information related to where you are. That. And then you've also got the options menu, if you want to tweak those options I showed you. And the way the game works basically is you make matches here to send out magic bolts and the magic bolts then defeat the enemies. They're trying to break your wall, get to your kingdom, and do horrible things. Now this is my first match four, so I earned a coin. So it's paused the game and said, hey, click on the, cl click on the coin. So we do that. Now, basically, this is my, how many enemies I'm gonna have to defeat. That shows my progress. At this level, there's only two waves per level, so it's not that hard to, to move on. I will go ahead and and fast forward and show you what happens at the end of a level. So now I've defeated the last enemy and a level summary is going to pop up. It's going to show some stats, things that are kind of interesting. You can look at the Chapter story from here again if you want tower of or you can just move on and finish the level. Now between levels the spell book and gear training page will come up It'll tell you any new spells or new gear available, and it'll also tell you what's coming next. Now your masteries are really important. When you train masteries, your 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 bolts get more powerful and your wall gets more powerful. So I'm going to invest all my XP and masteries here um, and not worry about spells for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a short sword because it's pretty handy. So I'm going to grab it too because it's pretty handy to have some some of these. When you get to higher levels, some of these things like the attack dummies and the barriers and the grease puddles and bombs and amplifiers, they are really they really enhance the tower defense aspect of the game and they're very good for a strategy. And this is telling me what level I'm on. I'm about to be on level four, so I'm gonna go ahead and move in. And then as you can see my wall has upgraded some. I've got my gear down here. And um you know, for right now, it's some of the same enemies, but every few levels, you're going to get some different types of enemies, which is uh, which is kind of cool. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward again. Now, as you can see, my wall is significantly upgraded now, and this boss is kind of funny. Um, he's called the Angry Tertum, and he's just got a massive Tertum army. So, as you can see, I've picked up a ton of new gear. I'll show a few things off. Um, there's a grenade. Pretty expensive, but pretty powerful. And here's an attack dummy. You'll see pretty quickly what the strategic benefits are of those, because as you can see, it's holding them back. 
I'm using some short swords on these guys. I didn't hold them back for long, especially at this level. And in fact, I've kind of been goofing off too much, so we're going to have trouble here. They're going to be on my wall. I'm taking damage. Ooh, nice. Get some gold here. So, normally I need to make a lot of matches to get my spells empowered, but hey, this is a video. Let's cheat. I'll show you one of my favorite spells, which is Gale. Uh, once you have this charged up, if your wall's in a lot of danger, give yourself a little breathing room. And go to town. And here's a cool spell, too. Barry, it'll clear in a whole row. Send out a bunch of missiles there. And here's... Now, my tower's getting pretty wrecked, so why don't I heal myself up? But most likely things aren't going to go well for me here because I'm so far... I'm so far in danger from having gotten really far behind. Let's see if I can catch up. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't want to ruin the excitement of what happens when your wall blows up, so I'm just going to pause here, and again, I'm going to fast forward and show you one or two other spells that I think look really cool. All right, we're back in action. I'm actually going to show you one of the tier four spells that I think looks really, really cool. But I don't want to spoil too much, so that's all I'm going to show you today. This is called Firestorm. It's going to destroy every fire rune on my board, and it's even going to light the terrain on fire. Let's blow look at those guys off there. And I'm going to show you one last gear that I think is really cool. It's the amplifier. Watch what happens when I send these three. It's going to hit those and get split, which is really cool. So anyway, um, that's the basic gameplay. Hopefully it all makes sense. I'm going to show you the bestiary like I promised, because it's pretty neat too. Bestiary is a collectible part of the game. There's a scroll for every single enemy in the game. As you can see, there's a lot 15 pages of enemies. Here's the two that I collected already. Whenever you click on one, it pulls up this screen that has stats. I've defeated him twice. I've collected his scroll once. He's not done any damage to my wall. And you can mess with him. He's almost like a little doll now. You can move him around, play with his animations, see what's up with him. But it's just a fun little thing, a little collectible. The higher difficulties actually have a higher chance to drop scrolls. So when you're wanting to fill your bestiary, that's actually a benefit. And one last thing, when you go into your profile, you know, at when I quit I was level 71, so theoretically I've beaten all those bosses. And I've got a bunch of stats for money earned and just another thing that's kind of fun for people who like to get kind of serious about their gameplay. But anyway, so that's Tower of Elements. It's um it's a really fun game. It's a a hybrid of match 3, tower defense and RPG elements. You can pick it up directly off our website. Just go to frogdice.com and go to the games choice and scroll right down to Tower of Elements and check it out. You can also go to directly toe.frogdice.com. That's toe.frogdice.com. And also, we have a really active forum community um, for all of our games. And that's located at forums.frogdice.com. I'll put all these links in the description. And you can even check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash frogdiceinc, or facebook.com slash tower of elements. Uh, you can get a lot of strategies, a lot of tips there. And um, the last thing I'll plug, I guess, is our Twitter, twitter.com slash frogdiceinc. So, you know, I hope this gave you a little bit of helpful info on what the game is like. I hope it sounds cool. I hope you'll try it. There's a free demo on our website. And um, that's pretty much it. So have fun. Enjoy the game, and talk to you soon.